Hey guys, it's Troy here, and you know what? I just went and early voted uh, for the primaries for this coming election season. You know, the election here in North Carolina is May the 17th. Now, I typically work the polls, meaning I'm a precinct worker in my little hometown of Selma. So I'll be doing that. And they encourage us, if we do that, then we might want to go in early vote. Now, I despise early voting because I believe in election day. Uh, but okay, with the encouragement that um, I've been given to go ahead and early vote so we don't end up voting at the precinct and garner complaints from people for some stupid reason, uh, I went ahead and voted. Now, I got my little sticker. And I'll tell you what else I got. I got a pen left over uh, from, you know, the North Carolina Board of Elections from like 2020. Uh, now, this uh, they got tons of these pens that were uh, from that election. I worked that election too. Now, I don't care who you plan on voting for. I'm not going to encourage you either way. Personally, I'm unaffiliated. So for the primary here in North Carolina, I can pick any of the major ballots that I want to vote on. And I did. I took the ballot of my choice of how I wanted to vote. And I did a little bit of research. Uh, it's really tough this time because there's a lot of people on the ballot for like school board and for Congress. But I've got a few favorites. There's some people that I even know personally that were on the ballot. And I talked to some of the, even uh, the dad, let's say, of uh, one of the candidates I was just talking to. Doesn't mean I voted for, doesn't mean I voted against that particular candidate. I'm not going to tell you my preferences. I want you to be a responsible citizen and I want you to figure out for whom you want to vote and for what office. Sample ballots are available on, in here, the Johnston County Board of Elections website, which is what I did. As a matter of fact, right here in my pocket, if I can actually dig it out here, I have a sample ballot that I printed out and I brought with me. See, it says right there, sample ballot. You know, I just printed it out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, did my little bit of research, marked the candidates that I wanted to vote for so that I would know when I got into the ballot booth for whom I was going to cast my vote. So I encourage you, be informed, find out who you want to vote for, find out what they stand for, find out the issues that are important to you, and vote.